Okay, so this is going to be a cancer pick a card reader. So Spirit, how y'all doing? Thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for watching the video. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Um, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and comment on the video. You can do it right now because you're going to like it anyways. So I'll wait two seconds. One, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be a pick a card. I'll do a top and a bottom and a left and a right. So you choose top, bottom, left, or right. You can choose in your head and make up that decision right now. Okay. So give me a few cards for um, cancers. That's five of cups. Just wanted to fly out. She said, baby, put me up there. Okay. Top, bottom, left, or right. Make your decision and your choice before I even read the mother loving cards. So, Queen of Cups came out in reverse. 117, you got a lot of emotional cards in this deck, so it's a lot of emotions going on. Um, loving, kind heart, intuitive, spiritual, psychic, killer, counselor, and hormonal. So, maybe you're... Uh, being overly hormonal right now or you're not some of that nature you're not being intuitive yeah you're not uh using your emotions or like allowing your emotions to just kind of wash over you type shit like sometimes you gotta get in your emotions and let that shit wash it clean you know um you're not being that loving at this time you're not showing that kind heart that you may have um, you're not using your psychic abilities to, like, their best ability. I mean, your psychic abilities to their best, like, use. You're not putting them to use properly. Uh, you may not be using them positively. You may be using them negatively. Um, and you're not using your healing for good. Or you're not using your healing powers at all. Like, you need to heal yourself. 222, like I just told. I just did another reason. Another reading, um, for fucking... I forgot what signs. 229, I just did it for. And I told them, like, it was a thing. And it was like, why am I crying? Like, get up, you a witch, go and light some candles. Like, go and do something. Like, yeah, just go relax. Go love yourself. Self-love. Go and light some candles. Go take a bath. Go, like I said, use all the elements that you can to just clean yourself and cleanse yourself of all the energies. Instead of like focusing on 257, 258, 59, putting energy and sending energy to other people, like, yeah, focus on like trying to heal and cleanse yourself. That's all. Hands and I said hands, cleanse and heal yourself. Uh, I've been so bored lately. 327, 320, uh, 329, but I've been bored. Okay, so we have Nine of Swords first. Nightmares, Despair. Okay, left. That's left. That's what I'm going to read first. This is the left card. So if you chose left, this is for you. Nightmares, despair, guilt, depression, anxiety, fear, negativity, and mental anguish. So maybe you're just going through a lot of things mentally right now. You're not uh, feeling well or up to par mentally. Um, and you're having nightmares. Uh, you may feel like you're in despair in a situation. Like you feel guilty. You feel depressed. Um, but... The best thing you can do when you feel depressed is to recognize like what that you're feeling depressed and what's making you feel depressed and grow from it. That's all you can do. You learn to run from what you feel, and that's why you have nightmares. To deny is to invite madness. To accept is to control. Think about a problem you may be facing in life right now. I mean, just now. Is the problem really as bad as you think? I can relate to this. 447 for 849, I can relate to this a lot. Because, yeah, I'll be like, oh, my God, some stuff just takes you too far into something. And then you'll be like, it kind of make you 
Ooh, I need to four forty nine. I got I got to back back for a second. I got to hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you can't give it to me dry like that, baby. You gotta get that shit wet first. <laughs> but no, for real, for real. Like, mm -mm. <laughs> but sometimes it's nice to get that shit just like boom. So it just some smack you in the face, and it's like, damn. But next time I get smacked in the face. I know how to react to it because I already know been smacked in the face before, like by surprise. So it's like I I know I know I can ex now I'm expecting this to happen. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, that's left. If he chose left, okay, yeah. So I'm doing top. I'm weird. So, I'm going to do top next. Five of Cups. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. And like I said, you got a lot of cup cards over here. So, it's, well, y'all got a lot of cup cards over here. So, it's just a lot of emotions running through Pisces. I mean, I said Pisces. Cancer's energy in general. I'm going to do Pisces next since they're on my mind. But I'm going to do, uh oh, but yeah, it's a lot of energy running through this Cancer, like, collective in general. But yeah, so you chose top five of cups is for you. Loss, bereavement, trauma, despair, grief, living in the past, isolation, loneliness, and sadness. Give sorrow words. The grief that does not speak knits up the overwrought hearts and bids it break. William Shakespeare. Is there something in your past or just now that you cannot move away from? Has something caused you pain that feels unbearable and you seem stuck in grief? So maybe, like, do you feel stuck in any situation or do you feel like you're facing grief or do you feel like you're facing um, some sort of loss or something negative in a situation? Um, it's like maybe you feel like you're, 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 you're moving on from something and you don't want to move on from it or you feel like if you move on from something, you're going to be facing a loss or you're going to miss out on something. So you feel sad about that. So yeah. So that's five of cups. 737, 730. That was deep. Like poetry. I wanna snap. Okay, six of cups is next. And then I close the book with my bald head ass. But it's alright. So if you pick right, this is for you. Re-embrace the things of the past. Oh, to oh remembrance. Ooh. One <laughs> seven fifty nine. Remembrance of the things of the past is not necessarily the remembrance of things as they were. Um, nostalgia, sanctuary, memories, reminiscences, childhood, and past influences. Reminiscences, reminiscences. Is there something from your past where you associate, or that you associate with happy memories? What, when was the last time you went there? Consider taking a trip down memory lane. Is it as you remember, or do you see it differently now that you are a different person? So, do you see life differently um, if you look at, like, things from a past point of view? Like, would you do the same things that you may have done in the past, like, today? Like, looking at yourself now and looking at yourself then, 847, 848, 849. So, yeah. If you picked right, that was for you. Okay, so if you picked the bottom card, seven of coins, that's your card. Okay. Mm. This coin to death is like so far off in the back. Nine one one nine eleven. Harvest, patience, road, a reward, <laughs> perseverance, results, dividends, and progress and profit. If you have been working hard recently and it feels like work is all you do, consider taking a well earned break. What will you do? So, yeah, if you feel like you haven't had a lot going on, it's like maybe you deserve a break. Like, not maybe, but you definitely deserve a break. And it's like, so what do you feel like you're going to do on this break? Think about that, fantasize about that, and figure out how you're going to, or just execute it. You know, just do, go where you want to go, 949. Take a vacation or something. Maybe it's just time to take a vacation or celebrate yourself. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. 
Since all the seeds have sprouted, he might even consider taking only what he needs and investing the others to ensure an even bigger crop next time around. Yeah, so maybe speaking about, yeah, just in a situation, taking uh, 1017, taking what you need in a situation and investing the rest, like, or it could even be with finances, with money, taking the amount of money you need to, like, want to put into yourself, like, just to, you know, your residual income to play around with and then think about what money you're going to invest in, where you're going to invest it. Yeah. If you do whatever you do, shit, it could relate to stocks, shit. If you do that, like, know what you want to invest in, like, um, to put it, put a certain amount of money into things, you know. You don't put all your eggs, or you can, like what they say, go put all your eggs in one basket, then go and get some more eggs, and, you know, put a little more in the other ones, you know. You know, you know, you know, 11, uh, 11, 11. Okay, bye. That was a cancer reading. So if you chose bottom seven of coins, that was for you. Bye.